Well, in a move that adds uncertainty on the Delhi University admission process, a crucial meeting of the Executive Council of the DU on the four-year undergraduate program in the university has now been cancelled. But what could be a breakthrough, what could in fact bring a breakthrough is the meeting that the HRD Minister Smriti Irani is going to have with the top officials of the UGC today to resolve the stalemate over admissions in Delhi University and its affiliated colleges under the controversial FYUP program. Now, the face-off between the UGC and the DU has led some of its uh, affiliated colleges to defer the admission procedure till the issue is resolved. The cut-off list for admissions in various DU colleges is set to be out tomorrow. But in view of the latest developments, the admission process could be delayed further by about a week or so. Now, most affected are the students whose admission to the four-year program hangs in balance. My colleague Brijesh Pandey is joining us uh, for the latest on the stalemate uh, Rajesh, as we see both DU as well as the UGC digging in their heels, the HRD minister, I believe, is finally stepping in. There is going to be a high-level meeting today. Well, yes, HRD ministry is expected to meet top-level uh, UGC officers and uh, she will definitely try to uh, uh, make sure that some sort of arrangement works out between them because uh, it's, a, it's a very peculiar situation in the sense that in the last government, uh, UGC was the one that, uh, you know, actually went ahead and praised the situation. But once this uh, uh, this four years FIUP controversial program found uh, its way into the election manifestation manifesto of, uh, of, uh, DU, of BJP, then... Uh, uh, you know, immediately after coming to power, it is believed that the HRD ministry is kind of nudging the UGC to go ahead and, and scrap the programs. And as you can see that there were lots of advertisements uh, today made by the UGC uh, asking the uh, Delhi University to come out and make sure that they scrap uh, the four years program. Otherwise, fund to these universities will dry up. But even the Delhi University vice chancellor is not backing out. And, you know, the, the, the tragedy of this thing is that it is the future of the student which is caught between uh, this uh, political uh, game between the UGC and the Delhi University. Shika? Absolutely, it's the students uh, who are caught in the bind there. But Brijesh, what really are the options for Delhi University considering that the UGC controls the funding of central universities like the Delhi, Delhi University uh, in case of a clear, uh, you know, clear dictat that the UGC has given the DU has to stick to a three-year course, it cannot go with FIUP. Uh, isn't it now mandatory in a way for the DU to fall in line? Well, uh, looks like yes, but the Delhi University Vice Chancellor uh, uh, doesn't want to go uh, down without its share of fight. Uh, they want to make their protest very clear, and this is the reason uh, why they have uh, till now not uh, replied to the UGC show cause. And they are they are saying that they will stick to it till the situation becomes unbearable for them, as in that when the funding will start drying up and they will have to fall in line. And 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 fearing a, a, a backlash kind of a situation, this is the reason why HRD Ministry has stepped in and they are in talks with. The UGC to make sure how they are able to salvage this situation without getting into this uh, uh, Delhi University versus UGC uh, kind of a scenario which will also uh, result in a slightly political embarrassment for the for the for the NDA government and this is the reason why they are uh, trying to make sure that the issue is resolved best. Rashika? Rajesh Pandey there reporting on the standoff between the UGC and Delhi University over its FYUP program. Thank you very much for joining us. In the meantime, we are learning that many of the colleges of Delhi University have deferred admission, uh, including St. Stephen's College.